times come on. Hear the drums are going tonight, but she hears only whispers of some quiet conversation. She's coming in 12:30 flight. The moonlit wings reflect the stars that guide me towards salvation. I stopped an old man along the way. Hoping to find some long forgotten words or ancient melodies. He turned to me as if to say, Hurry, boy, it's waiting there for you. Gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I'm blessed to reign. 
some time to do the things we never had. The wild dogs cry out in the night as they grow restless, longing for some solitary company. I know that I must do what's right, as sure as Kilimanjaro rises like Olympus above the Serengeti. I seek to cure what's deep inside, frightened of this thing that I've become. that a hundred men or more can ever do. I bless the rains down in Africa. Gonna take some time to do the things we never She's waiting there for you. Gonna take a lot to drag me away from you. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. I'll bless the rains down in Africa. I'll bless the rains down in Africa. I'll bless the rains. Very superstitious Writings on the wall Very superstitious Ladders about to fall Thirteen month old baby Broke the looking glass Seven years of bad love, the good things in your past. When you believe in things you don't understand and you suffer, superstition led away. Hey, hey. Wash your face and hands Rid me of the problems And do all that you can Keep me in a daydream Keep me going strong You 
don't want to save me. Sad is the song. When you believe in things, don't understand that you suffer. Superstition laid away. Hey, hey. Superstitious, nothing more to say. Very superstitious, the devil's on his way. Thirteen months old baby broke the looking glass. Seven years of Good morning and welcome. My name is Morris Scalini. I'm the Associate Dean for the College of Business. And due to the uh, rain ceremony, we will be receiving a televised uh, streaming. Uh, and afterwards, we will be uh, proceeding with the presentation of the graduates. Thank you. Welcome to Rowan University's 2019 Commencement Ceremonies. 
The processional is ready to begin. Please silence all cell phones and please remain seated during the processional so everyone can see. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for our national anthem. Please be seated. And now, Dr. Sue Lehrman 
William G. Rohr, College of Business Dean. Wow, you look fabulous. What a great day. You know, I was talking to a parent and I said, I'm so sorry that it's not going to be sunny and blue and green. And she said, what could go amiss? This is the best day of the year. This is the best day of four years for her and for all of us. And this is a really special commencement for me because you started when I started uh, four years ago. So, uh, and I've come to know so many of you and I'm just very, very special. I can't wait to see you walk across the stage. So, good morning and welcome to the William G. Rohr College of Business Commencement Ceremony. And a special hello to our accounting and finance students, family, and staff who are watching live stream in the Recreation Center. So do you know that some of our students are in another space and we want them to feel really special and included. So I want everybody to raise their hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. And we're gonna say on the count of three, and the students in the other room as well, we miss you. One, two, three. We miss you. Great. It's now my pleasure to introduce our special guests, starting with Dr. Ali Hushman, President of Rowan University, Provost Dr. James Newell, Rovost Univer Rowan University Board of Trustees members, Ms. Isabelita Abel, Dr. Barbara Chamberlain, and Ms. Linda Rower, and distinguished guests, Dr. George Romeo, our Grand Marshal, Dr. Richard Marmon, our Gonfalier, Mr. John Vogel, alumni board member, Ms. Deborah DiLorenzo, keynote speaker, Ms. Kathy Davison, Davis, Medal of Excellence recipient, Ms. Denise Williams, CWA president, and Mr. Rob O'Leary, uh, student speaker, and members of the president's cabinet, dean, college advisory board members, faculty, and other senior members of the administration. Lastly, yay, yes. Thank you. Lastly, I'd like to introduce the stars of today, our graduates. There are two important groups that I want to recognize. So students, stand up. You're gonna be doing a lot of this today. Stand up. All students, stand, please. I want you to turn around and face the people most important in your life. Parents, partners, brothers, sisters, loved ones. Hey. Okay, turn back around and face the front. And recognize your Rowan family, faculty, staff, and administrators and we share so much in your pride today and your success. So please thank your faculty and staff. You, you may be seated, please. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ali Hushman. I'm the president of Rowan University. Although we had to bring today's ceremony indoor, it's still a glorious day and one that we will not soon forget. We have all come to celebrate because we know the significance of the degrees our new graduates have earned. And we know the great effort it took to earn them. Graduates and loved ones, you have anticipated this day for years, some of you maybe since childhood, maybe with difficulties and distractions, but here we are today. As president and as a father, it brings me great joy to see families and friends mark this moment 
with our new graduates. We celebrate today. We do, of course. But I encourage you to consider this a starting point for new goals in your life. In the word of our great friend, Henry Rowan, make this world a better place because you live in it. Congratulations to all of you. That was planned. <laughs> I'm very proud and honored to be here today to congratulate the 2019 class, graduating class of the William G. Rohr College of Business. Congratulations to all of you. You've done a great job and you've earned it. I don't have a formal speech because many of you know I don't do formal speeches, but I do have some words of wisdom that I would like to share with you today. First off, these are quotes. Have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. No one will. Success is the ability to go from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Our greatest glory is not in failing, but in rising every time we fall. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. Wherever you go, no matter what the weather, always bring your own sunshine, especially today. <laughs> Attitude is everything. When someone is hurting, dare to help them heal. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by people who are afraid to make a change. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. When something seems difficult, dare to do it anyway. This is one of my favorites for real estate. Little pigs get fat, fat pigs get slaughtered. This is another favorite, too. There's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs one step at a time. Another favorite that I'll close with, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I want to wish the class of 2019 success, and don't be afraid to come back and see us, because we will be here. Again, congratulations. Okay, now for the stars. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, I would like to say congratulations, class of 2019, Rohr College of Business. So, class of 2019, between momentary flashes of senioritis, and I know very few have experienced that, you have been very busy folks this year and for the past four years. And I want everyone to know a little bit about what you've been up to, just a, just a glimpse, just a sample. So in this past year, you continue to help inaugurate our beautiful new building in style and with gusto. And hey, isn't it way better than bunts? Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to walk into business hall every morning. Literally, I'm so excited to see you snapping pictures of the whiteboard where you've recorded the jobs that you're about to accept or conferring together in one of our 24 collaboration rooms or an animated discussion in the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship cooking up new ideas. In our short time in business hall, you have done so much to make it just much more than a building, but a living, breathing, brimming space, a home really, with your enthusiasm and your activities. And here are a few of those activities. 40 MBA students and 125 undergrad students 
were inducted into Beta Gamma Sigma just a few weeks ago. That's the Honor Society for AACSB accredited business schools. Uh, AACSB is the world's most highly esteemed business accrediting body, and your Rora College of Business degree has international recognition because of that quality. And your membership in Beta Gamma Sigma instantly links you to the best students in the world. You will be recognized wherever you go. Nine students, and this is really special, were inducted into the New Jersey Collegiate Business Administration Honors Society. You are in the top 1% of business students in the state of New York, uh, New York, oops, New Jersey and New York. Uh, and guess what? No other school in the state of New Jersey had that many students. So let's give it to the nine who uh, were honored. <laughs> 268 students earned academic credit for internships with such amazing organizations as TD Bank, Geico, Subaru, Vanguard, KPMG, Lockheed Martin, and the list goes on and on. And to the great relief of your loved ones, early reports show that the majority of you have already accepted jobs with some of these same great organizations. You uh, are the recipients of Rohr Scholarships, Anthony J. Galvin Scholarships, Rowan University Foundation Scholarships, and New Jersey Society of Certified Public Accountants Scholarships, and so many more. This year, our mentorship program linked almost 200 students with 129 mentors. 18 of you traveled, presented, and or competed at conferences across the nation and went on an unforgivable trip, nine of you did, to Hong Kong, Vietnam, and China. It looked like fabulous fun. More than 125 students toured regional businesses over five, I love this one, over 500 students in the senior class completed industry projects, tackling real problems for real businesses and presenting your findings to the C-suite folks from those organizations. To help launch your new businesses, the winners of our annual student new venture competition were awarded over $7,500 in cash prizes. Although business students account for 13% of the student body, over time you have held more than 20% of the top leadership positions in the university's Student Government Association. You provided exceptional leadership for our many business organizations, including inviting countless business leaders to campus and earning multiple awards from national competition. Thanks to our very successful MBA students, the Rohr College of Business is listed as one of the best 294 business schools by the Princeton Review and one of the top MBA programs by the Philadelphia Business Journal. Many of you are Bloomberg certified, SAP certified, and on your way to becoming CPA certified. 37 of you logged almost 700 hours in the volunteer income tax uh, assistance program, filling out over 300 federal and state income tax returns for low-income individuals in the area, which is a, just an amazing service. You have already started giving back to Rowan University. Your class raised almost $2,000 in scholarship money for the incoming class of 2023, and those who donated 2019 cents or more are wearing white and gold spirit cords today, and thank you for that. Lastly, and a kind of personal favorite, you ate over 100 pounds of my chocolate and drank gallons and gallons of coffee during uh, my dean's office hours where I got to know many of you personally. Now, before I say, well, job well done, I have to stop and take a few of you to task. Amy Rhino, who knows Amy Rhino? Yay, Amy. Okay, Amy Rhino, manager of the Center for Professional Development, had to report to me that not all of you have completed your senior surveys. And she is not happy. And when Amy's not happy, I'm not happy. 
and nobody should be happy. So please, parents, first thing, you get out of here, ask your student if they have completed their survey, and if they haven't, please make sure they get right on it. Okay, so that's taken care of. So to the class of 2019, I say, job well done. Please take a moment, congratulate yourself, celebrate, because, become keenly aware of what you have accomplished. It wasn't always easy, but you did it. To say we are excited to see what you will do next is an understatement. Our seatbelts are fashioned, our tray tables are in the upright and locked position. We are ready to see, see where you decide to take us. One thing I do know, when you walk out of this room today, there will be, uh, you will be a member of an exclusive and prestigious members-only organization, the Rowan University Alumni Network. Allow me to welcome you, our newest members. We look forward to seeing many of you throughout the years back in our new home, which will always be your home, Business Hall. Congratulations. And now it is my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, who is one terrific lady who I happen to know very well for her, from her involvement in the business community. For 25 years, Deborah D. Lorenzo has guided the Chamber of Commerce, Southern New Jersey, with a passion to assist the region's business owners. She has done so with phenomenal gusto and success. Deb earned her bachelor's degree in communications and her master's degree in public relations from Rowan University and has received numerous awards for her work, including the university's Distinguished Alumna Award, South Jerseyan of the Year, and New Jersey Biz named her among the top 50 women in business. Please join me in welcoming our commencement speaker, Deborah DiLorenzo. Good morning, President Hushman, Dean Lehrman, Ms. Rohr, Advisory Council members, board members, and under other distinguished guests on the dais. Thank you for inviting me here today. Let me begin my brief remarks by congratulating the class of 2019 and your families. It is my honor and privilege to share this special time with you this morning and recognize you for your hard work and commitment to your future. Little did I ever imagine when I sat at my commencement exercise in front of Bunce Hall back in 1976 that I would ever be asked to address you today. At my graduation, I remember being filled with pride, as were my parents, anxious to start my career and use the skills I was taught as a communications major. There were no laptops, cell phones, or the internet. Our country was getting ready to celebrate its bicentennial. Bohemian Rhapsody was released to rave reviews. Gasoline was 59 cents a gallon. The average annual income was $16,000. The Dow was 1,004. And a little company named Apple was formed. So in preparation for my comments this morning, I reflected on the way it was for me when I graduated and the way it will be for you in today's times. And even though the world has changed dramatically over these four plus decades, I believe the advice from business icon Steve Jobs will remain the same. You have to find what you love. To illustrate Steve's recommendation, I would like to take you on a very brief personal journey. My interest in public policy, government, and politics was sparked back in 1964 when I watched, through the eyes of a 10-year-old, my father manage the campaign of his brother for the District 1 congressional seat here in South Jersey, now held by Congressman Don Norcross. My mom and dad taught me that aspiring to public office was noble, and that one did so if he or she had good ideas and wanted to help others prosper. Although it was hard for a fifth grader to accept a tough loss, the bigger picture became evident as I grew older, that our country affords us a precious opportunity and the freedom to be part of the legislative process to make changes and help others. 
some 10 years after my uncle lost that election, I decided I should major in communications here at Glassboro so that I could develop my writing skills and perhaps learn the art of persuading others to believe in my opinions. I credit this university for providing me with the tools to succeed and teaching me how to think critically, strive for excellence, and never be afraid to embrace new competencies. My interest in politics, government, and public policy intersected with my passion for writing and persuasion in 1979 when, three years after graduation, I was offered a position as a lobbyist to represent the interests of the business community. I had found what I love. Over these 40 years, as I moved up the corporate ladder and took on new and additional responsibilities, there have been challenges, mistakes, disappointments, frustrations, opportunities, achievements, personal growth, and ultimately success. And that success has been fueled by five key factors, honesty, personal responsibility, self-motivation, discipline, and hard work. My parents instilled these qualities in me, and this university refined what I learned at home. I firmly believe these traits will continue their relevance into the future and urge you to embrace them. So today, while you're celebrating your achievements, take pause and think about what inspired you to seek the degree you have earned. Have you found what you love? If you have, revel in your ability to connect your dots. If you haven't, trust in your heart and intuition to pursue your journey. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. And when you get there, think fondly of this institution, your professors, fellow classmates, friends and family who have shaped and influenced you. And no matter how the world changes over your career, never stop loving what you do. Thank you very much and congratulations. Since 2015, Rowan University has awarded medals of excellence that honor worthy individuals in one of three categories, distinguished service, research, and alumni achievement. In recognition of her outstanding leadership and service to the South Jersey business community, today the William G. Rohr College of Business presents Deborah DiLorenzo the Medal of Excellence for Distinguished Service. Will Ms. Kathleen Davis um, please join me at the lectern? Kathleen A. Davis, Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer of the Chamber of Commerce, Southern New Jersey, and yes, she does know our commencement speaker very well, oversees a host of pivotal initiatives that have helped the Chamber achieve extraordinary success and reach new audiences. For two decades, she was a lead facilitator of the South Jersey Summer Institute for Educators, which has a very special place in the heart of the Rural College of Business because we've co-sponsored that event for many years. Uh, this program is a three-week um, initiative for teachers that exposes them to the region's business community. Kathy earned her bachelor's degree in law and justice studies from Rowan University and accepted the university's Alumni Ambassador Award in 2016. The Rohr College of Business presents the Medal of Excellence for Distinguished Service to Kathleen A. Davis in recognition of her exemplary contributions to the region's business leaders. And I have to say that both Kathy and Deb will be retiring after a 
very long stint of service and wonderful service to the South Jersey community at the end of this year. So let's uh, give both of them another round of applause. This week, we are graduating 57 students who have served our country as members of the United States military. They have overcome the challenges and hardships of transitioning between studies and service. We appreciate their dedication to both education and military duty. Will those students who have served please stand to be recognized? Thank you for your service to our country. At this time, it gives me great pleasure to recognize the graduates who have excelled in their academic studies while here at Rowan. These students are graduating today with honors and fall into three levels of achievement. Students graduating cum laude have achieved a grade point average of 3.45 through 3.64. Will those students who are graduating cum laude Please stand to be recognized. Thank you. You may be seated. Students graduating magna cum laude have achieved grade point averages of 3.65 through 3.84. Will those students who are graduating magna cum laude please stand to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Students graduating summa cum laude, the highest honor, have achieved grade point averages of 3.85 through 4.0. Will those students who have achieved this distinction please stand to be recognized? Thank you. You may be seated. Congratulations to all on your achievements. It's my pleasure to honor this year's recipients of medallion awards. Medallion awards are given to students who exhibit exemplary academic or other achievements. As I call your name, please stand to receive recognition that you so well deserve. Will recipients remain standing until I've called all the names and audience members please hold your applause until all the names have been read. Starting with Ethan Aversa and Jeffrey DeVito, both received the Linda Ross Award for Entrepreneurial Engagement. Joe Carter received the Professor Kimball Bird Medallion Award for Entrepreneurial Leadership. Julie Johnson received the Joseph uh, Robert Sorelli Scholar Athlete Award for the College of Business. Kylie Keeper uh, received the Tevis M. Goldhaft Leadership in Business Award. Robert O'Leary received the Management Institute Outstanding Business Student Award. Victoria Santiago received the Robert D. Lynch Award for Leadership in Human Resources Management. And Michael Viola received the Leo C. Beebe Excellence in Marketing Management Award. Congratulations to all of you. Please be seated. I also want to recognize the Honors Concentration graduates and our Honors Society members. They're listed in the program. Will all of these students please stand to be recognized? Thank you. 
will Mr. Robert, I also known as Rob O'Leary, President of the Bureau of Business Associations, please come to the lectern to present words of congratulations from the student body. Thank you, Dr. Learman, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the graduating class of 2019 of the Rohr College of Business, I would like to welcome everyone and thank you for being here with us on this special day. To my fellow graduates, let me begin by saying this. Congratulations, I'm so happy to be able to share this day with all of you. For many of us who began this process four years ago, it seemed as if this day would never come. Yet here we are, four years later, about to wave goodbye to Bunce Hall, to our SB gym, and spread our wings as props and soar into the sunset. But there's a lot more to the story than just today's happily ever after. Over the last eight semesters, we've put in countless hours of hard work to get to this point. All of those late nights in the library and early morning hours and office hours pay off today. So happy payday, class of 2019. Of course, it wasn't just our sheer will to complete our degrees that propelled us forward, we also have to thank the incredible staff and faculty in the Rohr College of Business. Like so many of you, I've benefited on countless occasions from advisors squeezing me into their schedule, professors spending extra time to go over class material with me, and the Center for Professional Development connecting me to the right networks I needed to be in order to be successful. On behalf of our entire class, thank you members of the Rohr College of Business team for all the assistance you have given us to bring us here today. Class of 2019, we're a class of first. We're the first class to have Dean Learman as our dean for all four years. Thank you, Dean Learman, for your leadership and support. Additionally, we're one of the last groups that grow in students to go from studying in the Rohr College of Business over at Bunce to our new home in Business Hall. We watched that was Rowan blossomed, not just within our business community, but all over campus. As more and more buildings went up, campus got nicer and nicer. Being a part of the Rowan culture has been special. At Rowan, the attitude is always, how can we do more and how can we be better? What this has meant for me and for many of you is countless opportunities, from studying business abroad in London to representing the university at national financial conferences to serving in positions of leadership in student organizations. Rowan has provided us with numerous chances to rise to the occasion and grow into the people we set out to be when we came onto this campus as freshmen. The Rowan community is and always will be special to us. Through our years here, we contributed to that community and formed our own community of business majors. My father once told me, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. I believe these words hold true for us. For the past four years, we have been an interwoven community of classmates, friends, roommates, team members, mentors, competitors, and much more. We supported each other, pushed each other, and experienced the same trials and tribulations as one another. In going on this adventure together, we all share something that connects us. We are all profs. We are connected to Rowan by our roots. And no matter where we wind up, we will always share that link. As I look forward to what is to come next, I'm reminded of the, the wise words of the late, great Steve Jobs. Jobs said, stay hungry, stay foolish. Stay hungry, as in don't grow complacent. Continue to reach higher and challenge yourself more. Stay foolish, as in don't be afraid to try the things others say can't be done. My classmates and friends, as we move on, I hope that we will all stay hungry and foolish as we adamantly pursue our goals for the future. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations to the Rohr College Business Class of 2019. Okay, are you ready? Let's have a little drum roll with your feet, students, but don't wreck the floor. Okay, don't wreck the floor. Okay, perfect. Outstanding. So before I read the names, or we have the names read, um, I'm going to ask our master's and bachelor's students to please stand up. I told you you're going to have to do a lot of this, so please stand up again. 
As you know, this past Saturday, we held our campus-wide commencement event uh, here on the main campus to celebrate Rowan's bachelor's, master's, educational specialist, doctoral, and medical degree candidates. During that ceremony, President uh, Hushman, Provost Newell, and Mr. Chad Bruner, Chair of the Rowan University Board of Trustees, officially certified your master's and bachelor degrees as having completed all of the requirements for graduation. With that, our William G. Rohr College of Business graduates were conferred the Master of Business Administration or the Bachelor of Science degrees with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations of those degrees. Congratulations to each of you. You may be seated. Okay, it's now time to proceed to the presentation of the graduates. For those of you uh, in the Recreation Center, uh, the video stream is going to end and Associate Dean Morris Collini will preside over the rest of your ceremony. And let's say goodbye. Yeah, everybody, bye. So, those of you who are remaining, Now we're into the uh, most important and the uh, best part and fun part of this graduation ceremony. We will now present uh, our graduates. Each of our graduates will be called individually by program. But before we begin, I'd like to ask all family members to remain in their seats so they will not obstruct the view of others or get in the way of our students, since we have more than 250 graduates today. A professional photographer will take three photos of our students, one before they are on stage, another as they receive their diploma cover, and a third at the bottom of the stage. The students have been given contact information to have the proofs mailed to their home. Also, you are welcome to take a photo in front of the stage at the conclusion of the ceremony. And now, this is the moment that you all have been waiting for, the calling of the names, Dr. Stephanie Weidman. Good morning, everyone, and please allow me to offer my personal congratulations to all of our accounting and finance majors. We're so proud of you. Vincent Pham. Jose Carranza. Andrew Redman. Tyler Bonaventure. Will Dominio. Joshua Lakowitz. Better. John Donahue. Dylan Melahusky. Brian Filippone. Kyle Jacobson. Stephen Becker. Brianna Jacobs. Danielle Sikowski. Alexis Emery. Daniel Petito, Christopher Mayer, Daniel Noche, Ryan Sullivan, Maria Cece, Jillian Reidinger. Justin Hughes, Jason Young, Brian Bushbacher, yeah. 
Jake Perlstein. Scott Payne. Mauricio Oliveira Carrillo. Desiree Durham. Junko Mead. John Villarente. Joseph Megaritis. Jeffrey Lagerman. Jose Soto. Dominic Ferfari. Salvatore DeMeo. Colleen Brown. Brandy Shuck. Rachel Bebo. Caitlin Bodie. Molly McLaughlin. Danielle Exner. Rachel Rudy. TJ Stevens. Matthew Blomgren. Michael Cericcione. Mary Inoue. Ineo. Albert Michael Piccoli, Jr. Christopher Herrick. Thomas Seagreaves. Ketsia Saved. Jacob Zupina. Michael Hulawani. Stephen Ciano. Daniel Lawton. Daniel Barrett. Christopher Colucci. John Werner. Nicole Metro. Nicholas Roosh. Brittany Gruff. Grace Sobolewski. Joseph Fern. Zachary Olar. Christopher Carter. Angelia Taylor. Eduardo Santiago. Augustus Stoli. Alex Denunzio. Benjamin Handel. Eric Pendry. Michael Winetsky. Carl Etzet Ortega. 
Taylor Morgan Clark. Katiana Defendry. Elma Hamadzip Rippi. Michael James Decker. Matthew Perry Edwards. Christopher Richard Alberto. Ruta Savilla. Jesse Rebko. Joseph Matero. Christian Albedine. Katherine Gallagher. Kendra Guterres. Jenna Ann Scalzo. Taris Febosh. Joseph Ricardo Garcia. William Phillips. Joseph Valles. Mary Angarola. Connor Flynn. Henry Little. Ryan Flem. Daniel Klein. Joseph O'Rourke. Allison Adolph. Jared Uno. Connor McEwen. Jennifer Panzerino. Amber Ravencamp. Kirsten Hogan. Jennifer Dean. Julie Johnson. Danielle De Pisa. Nicholas Koenig. Derek Kritz. Ryan Heim. Miguel Garrett. Victor Garcia. Kyle Joseph Demkovitz. Kaylee Emery. Victoria Zaccheo. Kelsey Cooper. Danielle Thomas. Brett Buzanik. Matthew Molika. David Riano. Jonathan Keane. Michael Haru, Daniel Bennett, Sammy Sekik, Brianna Harth, 
Sam Richel. Michael Lennart John Larson. Rocco Aliota. Edith Hernandez Sanchez. Brandon Ventura. Alexandra White. Abigail Michelle. We now move to our finance graduates. Jang Dan. Dung Neuer. Oliver Hoeta Salaya. Gloria Nicole Page. Sriram Mohana Katharm. Jamil Jackson. Gayue Gu. Christopher Leon D'Angelo. Gino Weatherholt. Samantha Daniels. John Rooney. Rhett Rosario. Tyler Shivers. Kate Brossman. Brittany Freestadt. Michael Otino. Norina Vitesse. Kristen Aiken. Dean Giordano. Catherine Bramitli. Nicholas Bruno. Matthew Godfrey. Daniel Poinsett. Michael Jackson. Samantha Zaro. Emily Wolfson. Catherine Herrera. Jacob Hall. Barack Ozemir. Timothy Robinson. Munaza Zoheb. Alyssa Grillo. Daniel Anderson. Haley O'Neill. Israel Rodriguez. Deandra Filzume. Ali Wilson. William Natoli.
Nadia Rihiwi. Jacob Slaby. Mackenzie Markowitz. Gregory Matlack. Jackie Chen. Raymond Gramenzi. Daniel Berg. Bradley Rodier. Colin Cox. Frank Allison. Sierra Gramek. Liam Kennedy. Wilson Lee. Felix Castillo. Andrew Catella. Emily Brodsky. Connor Payne. William Sharkey. Andrew Fishbaum. Noah Sassano. Kyle Wenzel. Madison Keller. Kayvon Juhanbosch. Philip Picone. Nicholas Petito. Austin Mecca. Peter Selnick. Nicholas Casal. Nicole Baraban. Christopher Luis Caraballo Perez. Cassandra Marie Girard. Derek Joseph Hoffman. Samantha Lynn Casper. Sean Phillips. Brendan O'Day Yavoski. Matthew Satmary. Alexandria Satmary. Leonard Coviello. Reed Pelliconi. Sebastian Torrey. Max Garrier. Joseph Vivolo. Henry Hawan. Brandon Roth. Derek Morgan. Jared Cutts. Vincenzo Murray. Mark Kalova. Matthew Heron. Andrew Datz. Kyle 
McFadden. Leonard Sula. Matthew Chipote. Casey Lynn McCormick. Robert Colton. Brian Chisari. Matthew Kyle. Ayakt Saleh. Malcolm Franklin. Emilio Del Herrero. Del Herrero. James Burns. Erica Benetson. Amy Brasowski. Rocco Swatzek. Anthony Castiglia. Isaiah Williams. Mayor Raval. Matthew Wintz. Brandon Baker. Gianna de Blasio. Michaela Ferrara. Tori Lidlow. Nathan Illuminor. Michael Piros. Bria McGinnis. Peter Giancaspro. Austin Stephen Canuso. Alec Silvers. Talukope Guzia, Ulufemi Abuno. No? Tolulope Gazie Olufemi Abiono. Christy Ficara. Pascal Dilowitz. Jordan Lebo, Jeffrey Frenet Jr., and as you can see, we're not done yet. We've got two uh, students. We're earning a bachelor's degree in health and exercise science, Gina Becker and Christina Miller, who were not able to attend their own graduation yesterday because they were at a competition, softball competition. So we invited them to join us at the College of Business and we're very glad to have them. Uh, Dr. Leslie Spencer, program coordinator, uh, will be reading or be handing the diploma covers for them. Please proceed. Diana Decker. And Christina Miller. All right. And now, it's time for the tossing of the tassel from right to left. 
bachelor degree graduates, please rise and join me on the count of three. One, two, three. Congratulations, class of 2019. Congratulations. Let them, let, let's give them a now round of applause. You may be seated. Before we formally send our graduates into the world of commons, the next chapter of their lives, please join our graduates one more time, congratulating and thanking their loved ones that supported and helped them and have provided over the most rigorous part of their educational journey. Thank you for attending today's ceremony and congratulations to all of you. I'd like to kindly request that the audience remain in place until the platform party has recessed. Shuttles to the parking lots are available for those who need them outside SP. Will everyone please rise for the recessional? <laughs> 